Hello, Nuke Knights. This is the second day of the playoffs between KT Rolster and CJ Entis. I was going to cast the first day, but I'll talk about that here in a second. Why I decided to do day number two. Except, at the five o'clock position in yellow, scouting in the right direction, is a Zerg player named Hoja. So that means at the 8 o'clock position in red, I think it was. Yes, red is effort, scouting up. <laughs> so as I said, I had planned on doing the first day of the playoffs. I figured, well, there's a potential for 21 games this weekend. I want to get, I want to do one series and might as well do the first one. But as I was getting ready to do the first series, I went to Team Liquid to do some researching, uh, some research on map stats. And as I got there, I noticed on the side on the calendar, it said that the game started in 24 minutes for the second day of playoffs. So I thought, you know, eSports TV generally gets up these videos super, super quick, so why don't I just wait until they spit these videos out, Now get them immediately, cast them immediately this night, and up upload them incredibly fast. Now, I'm not sure if this experiment is going to work or not, because uh, I don't know how long these games are going to be. <laughs> Might be casting until 9 in the morning. Yeah, that'll make for a fun work day tomorrow. But let's see, both these guys did go for their spawning pools at the same time. Went straight for the spawning pool instead of expoing on this three-player map. <laughs> yeah, uh, I figured, well, the people who want to watch the thing live, I'm going to be uploading these first day videos when they're wanting to watch the second day live, so it kind of screwed them up. And I, I wanted to try for the quickest turnaround I've ever done on my channel as far as live games to commentary ratio goes. But like I said, just an experiment. Don't know if this is going to work. Let's hope it does. I've only done two live casts in my entire career. And those were Yellow versus Luxury, remember that one very specifically, and another was July versus somebody. Somebody, or July versus himself, let's say that. Okay, layers coming up for both dudes. I'm trying to remind myself where they are. Oh yeah, Hoja was at the 5 o'clock position, and Effort in a fiery red color at the 8 o'clock. Both going to send Zerglings at each other, try to get the Zergling attacks in the middle. Now, Hoja is... Yeah, I've probably talked about Hoja before, but Hoja did well at the end of last season. Uh, it's not... It's kind of mixed results this season. Not that great. Not that great, which is pretty surprising how... Because he helped KT Rolster a lot at the end of last season. So you'd think he would have been their number one Zerg this time around, but... Okay, here comes Effort. He might get surrounded. This could be a nice trick from Hoja. Hoja was trying to get... He has some Zerglings hidden behind his natural expansion floor, but he didn't bring them in quickly to get the surround on Effort, but he takes out Effort's Zerglings anyway. He was trying to hide the amount of Zerglings he had to trick Effort into running in with his reinforcements, and, uh... <laughs> just grinding down his zerglings that way. No effort is smart here. He's running a single zergling inside of the base, just trying to keep some of. Oh, not good. He was trying to keep some of Hoja's zerglings inside of his base by running in with that zergling, getting some harassment done with that. But now Hoja is sending an onslaught of zerglings right to Effort, and I know Effort is not ready for this. The speed upgraded zerglings, speed already done for Hoja, and he's going to try to break through, find a way to get past this zergling arch with the zerglings that has had. Effort has now pumped enough zerglings to hold the line for now, and he's building a creep colony just in case. That could be a bit of overkill, but he, right now he doesn't have a full idea of how many zerglings are going to be bearing down on him. Hoja is not pumping any additional ones. I'm pretty sure he's keeping some at home, actually, right outside of his main. And then, oh, Hoja getting one single zergling snipe. But at, at this moment, Effort definitely has more zerglings. So Everett could push out, but uh, what Everett is thinking right here is that I have no idea if there are any more Zerglings. He already hid Zerglings from me, so I need to get the full scan on this thing before I push up my ramp. He'll probably push up soon anyway, though, uh, especially once he sees this expansion coming down for Hoja. And I have to point out, I have to point out how funny it is that Effort went from blonde hair, blonde jacket, 
to black hair, black jacket. I just think that's fantastic. So he has officially reached Super Saiyan level 4. I think we can all agree on that. Okay. Effort still holding the line against a fewer number of Zerglings. But here come the Mutas. Mutas on the way for Effort. Going straight in Mutas. And here come the Scourge for Hoja. So he's committed to the Scourge first. Going to try to get the sneak attack on these Mutas before they fly right in to get the harassment. The Scourge being spotted though. I'm pretty sure the Effort spotted that. Spotted the Scourge, gonna try to micro against this. Now, Effort in the past has had impeccable ZVZ micro, but it's gonna be difficult to micro this one single Muta away from the Scourge. Oh, gets barely gets away. But Hojo's trying to stay in long enough to catch one that was on top of the egg. Unsuccessful. BSI yes, I remember back when Effort was at his prime. He was known as the second best ZVZ player behind Jadong, and he might have even broken through the top there for a while when Jadong's ZVZ, his JVZ rather, was being um, usurped, I guess, taken over. And people started to question Jadong's ZVZ around the time that Effort was at his prime, but here's Effort, he's trying to take out an Overlord, getting close, doesn't want to lose any Mutas in doing that though. Oh, takes out the Overlord finally. It took a couple of Muta shots, a couple of Glaive Worms uh, to the Muta's splash damage and everything like that. But uh, yeah, that was definitely worth it to take down that one single Overlord. And because Hoja is almost supply cap, not quite, but he does have to invest some more minerals in the Overlords. But luckily, since he does have his second hatchery going, uh, that shouldn't hurt him too much. He's already mining gas at his second base. And Effort hasn't even devoted to his second base yet, so Effort is going to try to end it with Mutas. Yeah, the observers are pointing out his economy is not that great. Well, for a ZVZ, it's, it's okay. Oh, there's Effort. He's killing his own Zerglings to free up supply for his Mutas. So he's, yeah, he's definitely trying to end it with Mutas, freeing up the supply by killing his Zergling. This is interesting because Effort um, apparently doesn't even think he has enough time to just run in and get his Zerglings killed. He has to kill them himself to get up Mutas as fast as possible. Uh, this is definitely a trick to get Mutas out quick. I'm trying to devote everything he has to getting out Mutas. And he's even build, built a creep colony there morphing into a sunken inside of his base to protect him as he moves out with uh, the Mutas. So once he's out there with his mutas, he knows he won't have many. He's building another creep colony just to get the supply. Man, really going for the muta. Air advantage. It cancels the creep colony with the drone, but that was... Uh, it, he did have the creep colony long enough to pump one additional muta. So he's trying to compete with the air because he knows that Hoja working from two hatcheries is going to be a threat, major threat. Just look at the amount of Scourge that Hoja has. This, if these, all these Scourge land, it's going to be over for Effort, completely over. Oh, the Scourge making their way over to Effort. Effort doing some pretty good micro, very good snappy micro from Effort. Man, that was uh, great, actually. I'm, I still think they're about tied as far as Muta count goes, and... Uh, <laughs> Don't even have to tell you who has more Scourge in the air. Uh, but I think the Muta Count's just about tied. Oh, Effort got the kick a bit too clo close with that one. Very difficult to micro against this many Scourge in the air, but looks like he's done a, a pretty good job with that. But he's mostly on the retreat. Effort moving in with his own Zerglings, but he's lost just about every Muta. He has one Mutalisk left, and he, but he is running inside the main. And might be able to snipe a lot of drones inside of this main and kind of even this out a bit more because Hoja has been mining from that second base for a while pr uh, pretty much um, unharassed and now he is being harassed effort going in for another drone kill being killed Zerglings dead and now the skirt hanging outside of the lair uh, that, that could be it forever because there's all an awful lot of Scourge just ready to pick off every oh more Scourge land on effort, effort, oh, down, zero mutas, and the mutas that are popping up are being killed immediately by the Scourge. Yeah, I think, I think that's checkmate. GG from effort, well played by Hoja. Just knew exactly what to do there, very tricky getting inside of his opponent's head by hiding some zerglings. Okay, this has been Nuke Slick CVZ to start it out with. Let's move on to the second set.